Hi friends, welcome back to another What I Ate in a Day video. I'm gonna take you through my whole day and show you everything I ate in one day. Starting with breakfast, my first meal of the day, I had this glorious watermelon. It was so perfectly ripe. It was sweet and crisp, just exactly how you want a watermelon to be. I've always been one to cut up my fruits and plate them and eat them with a fork or a spoon because I just find it so much neater that way and I really genuinely enjoy plating and making my fruits look pretty. It seems to be a lot more appetizing when you first feast and enjoy the sight with your eyes before your mouth. Here's the final result, how I like to cube my watermelon into little bite-sized chunks and I just placed it into my big bucket bowl here and enjoyed this as my juicy, delicious breakfast. Perfect way to start the day. Moving on to my lunch, I had these two beautiful ripe papayas and two dragon fruits. So at first, I started off here with these three papayas, but you'll see, as soon as I cut into this first one, I was horrified to see that it was about yellow and it felt rock hard. So I knew it wasn't good to eat, so I kind of left that one out aside. When I cut into the second one, as you'll see the color difference, it was definitely ripe and ready to go and it was perfect. So once I cut into the second one, it looked the same. I thought, okay, I'll eat those two papayas, and then I decided to cut up two other dragon fruits that were last in the pantry, the two last ones. I knew I needed to eat them as well, so I figured I'd do two of each. Another sweet and juicy meal. Then for my dinner, I had a big beautiful salad and Japanese sweet potatoes. So these are the beautiful Japanese sweet potatoes here. They were perfect. I haven't had them in ages and they're actually very, very inexpensive here in Thailand. So we got a huge 10 kilo bag of them. So all I did was first chop them up into the chunks that I desire. I placed them on the bottom tray in the halogen oven and we bake it for about 50 to 60 minutes. So you'll see here in the halogen oven, I have mine on the bottom tray and my husband is on the top tray. Then into my salad bowl goes my chopped romaine lettuce and then as well as my chopped red leaf lettuce. Lastly, I topped it off with several chopped tomatoes just for some beautiful color. And in these two here, I have some mushrooms and onions on the back burner. And on the front little pan, I have pumpkin, broccoli, and mini corns. And all I did was add a little bit of water to each of them to steam. So the mushrooms and the onions, I wanted it to be more like a saute, so I was hoping, and it did, uh, make sure some of the water evaporated from the saucepan so that it would start to get a little bit crisp and brown, and I just kind of move it around to make sure everything was cooked evenly, and it turned out just perfectly. We had some nori sheets laying around, so I figured I'd add several of them into my salad. Why not? And just like the cool kid I am, I used these mini scissors, because that's all we had to chop them up into little bite-sized strips. I like having the nori chopped into strips in my salad. The veggies on the front hob, I was able to just leave and let them steam for about 15 to 20 minutes. But these onions and mushrooms, I really wanted to be very uh, patient and um, attentive to them to make sure that they cooked to my liking. Okay, and once all of the veggies were cooked, I added them into my salad bowl. So first goes in the mushrooms and onion. You can see I got them golden brown here, which was absolutely perfection. Then I added in the corn, broccoli, and pumpkin mixture. Then as I usually do, I took my tongs and moved things around to make sure everything was incorporated well. Last but not least, I drizzled over my tahini lime juice dressing. That's all that's in there, folks. Just two tablespoons of tahini with um, the juice of two limes. So I drizzled that over the top. That's my dressing. And here on the side, you can see all of my beautiful Japanese sweet potatoes. This tomato mixture here is just a few tablespoons of tomato paste, again, with the juice of one to two limes and maybe a pinch of salt uh, if you feel like you like that. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you next time.